Detroit's heroes going without basic supplies like toilet paper and paper towels. It's been a chronic problem in the fire department and a problem our Ronnie Dahl has been on top of. Tonight it appears some progress is finally being made to get the issue fixed. Ronnie joins us live from Detroit with more now. Ronnie. Dave Glenda in the building just beyond the broken down fire rigs is the department supply warehouse and today the department's top brass and city leaders arrived here to take stock of the warehouse, try to figure out what supplies they actually have. Well, they discovered they have a lot, so they handed them out, including some toilet paper that was donated years ago. Sunday afternoon, Detroit firefighters arrive at the department's warehouse near Eastern Market to pick up needed supplies. Too many times, firehouses go without the basics, like cleaning supplies, paper towels, and yes, TP. To get supplies, firefighters either purchase them or they are donated by people who care. So when the city recently changed its donation policy, making it harder to give, I pushed the problem into the light. At the time, Mayor Duggan's chief of staff, Alexis Wiley, told me while the donations are appreciated, they aren't needed. We want everybody to know that we have the money to actually pay for supplies, and we have supplies available. The problem, she says, the supplies weren't making it from the warehouse to the men and women who needed them. I think sometimes there's there's a disconnect, and I think this might be a historical disconnect. To fix the disconnect, Wiley, along with the department's top brass, pay a visit to the warehouse and discover pallets of supplies hoarded at the warehouse, including lots of Charmin toilet paper, the really good stuff donated by the company back in 2012. Yes, while our heroes are going without toilet paper or buying it themselves, it's been sitting here collecting dust, or at least it was. We called all the battalions to come down and pick up supplies and actually walked around with them and said, what do you need? What are you not getting? Kudos for finally addressing this problem. The supplies that were handed out today should be enough to get the guys through the next month, month and a half. That's going to buy the department some time to try to figure out a permanent solution so this does not continue to happen. A side note to this story has to do with Sheila Kral. I've been telling her story over the past few weeks. Now, she uh, had a fundraiser just before the donation policy change. That was back in January. So she was able to get supplies for the men and women at Ladder 22 and Engine 34, collected hundreds of dollars worth of supplies and treats like coffee and cookies. Well, due to the red tape at City Hall, she's been unable to deliver them to the firefighters. Well, tonight, Alexa says that is going to be taken care of. So if she wants to come up with a day and say when she wants to go into the house, we'll make it, we'll, we'll, we'll arrange it for her. And we are going to make sure that does indeed happen. In fact, I did speak with Sheila. She says her schedule is going to be clear tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully, she will be able to get those donations out of her house and to the firehouses. For now, we are live outside Eastern Market. Back to you. All right. Good work. Thank you so much, Ronnie.